obesity is a medical condition but more it's a war and we have with us a warrior who has fought this battle and he has made innovative and very very renowned surgical procedures that are going to fight weight loss for all us Asians not only in India and Pakistan but all over the world. Let's welcome Dr. Mufi. Welcome to our show. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Waalaikum Assalam. Dr. Mufi, tell us, like, it's very interesting to know that you've been doing so great, so well, and so fighting this battle with so much of dedication that it's become, like, very interesting for the people to know how was your journey, how did you start, what did you interest you to come into this field? So, as they say that when Allah gives you one disease, he also sends a warrior to battle it, right? So, like you said, it's, uh, it's my journey in obesity started somewhere in 2004. And uh, we, we started this off because uh, at that point of time, there were lots of people who were looking out for someone to do bariatric surgery in India. And some of the senior surgeons didn't want to get into it. I was one of these younger guys there. And they recommended that I go and train. So I went to Belgium to train for a bit. And then I went to the US and trained. And then there's been no looking back after that. So one thing has led to the other. And today, mashallah, we've done not too badly for ourselves. You've done really good. Not badly, but really, really good. Why did you say that not too many surgeons wanted to come in this field? What was the reason behind it? Because maybe the battle is too long or maybe the fight against obesity, the results are not that permanent. Like with other surgeries, you get the results like this. Like either it's successful or not. Maybe the the reason was this or... The problem is obesity is still not recognized as a disease in some parts of our world. Okay. Yeah, in mm -hmm. Pakistan, India. Um, like in the western parts of the world, like America, they recognize it as a disease. But in our parts yes. of the world, we don't recognize the disease. The day we recognize it as a disease mm -hmm. and our governments can recognize it as a disease, our governments are battling with two issues. One is malnutrition on one hand. So it's more correct to say poorer people are khana nahi hai, man hai. Rehte hai. So that's why governments will always want to say supportive areas. Obesity is a big, big problem. Today, our governments are spending so much money on diabetes related, obesity related mm -hmm. diabetes. And if you don't do something serious about it, mm -hmm. uh, our people are dying younger. They're dying with a lot of problems like kidney failure, eyes going by diabetic, uh, retinopathy, uh, amputations of the foot because of diabetic gangrene. So I think we have to wake up and smell that obesity is a, a reason why we should do something about it. I think more and more uh, people at one point thought that only rich people were fat because they ate too much. Today, we've, we've understood that obesity is not only linked to it's how much genes. you eat. Yeah. It's the genes in your body, 5% is, it? is genetic, 5% yeah. is endocrine or hormonal, 90% is lifestyle or your body type. And the food that we're eating, it's so full of steroids and I don't know what and what not. Everything is so artificial. People are switching to organic and all. So a lot of things are related to weight loss, basically. But do you think that surgery is the answer to, is it a quick and fast way compared to other weight loss issues, uh, the weight loss ways out of it? So again, it's a myth, you know, that surgery is mm. a drastic step yeah. or surgery is a fast solution. Remember, obesity is a lifelong problem. You ask anyone who's obese, yeah, okay. they've done various diets, they've tried everything under the world and they've failed. Okay? When you're overweight, it's all right. When you're obese, there's a serious, yes, problem. serious yeah. problem. So when it's a lifelong journey, bariatric surgery is just one step in the right direction. It's not the end of the journey. The okay. day you decide the bariatric surgery, Karwali, Abhi, now I'm good, it's the biggest wrong thing that you're doing. Bariatric surgery gives you the chance to be on evil footing, even footing with some somebody else who's uh, eats more, but is unfortunately or fortunately not so yeah. uh, overweight. So sometimes you have families where there are two daughters. Yeah. One is thin and she and eats more and the poor other girl who hardly eats and people tease her, but, but she's fatter. I think it is very, very important that we understand this problem. And we understand that this problem is not the fault of their mistakes. We stop blaming them. Then I think a lot of things will change. Today, because of the fact that society ignores people, fat shaming is so big, especially for young girls. Especially for the peer pressure yes. that is for the children at, in the colleges and Lots of suicidal tendencies are only because uh, 
so today you don't fit into yeah, a certain culture so it's not culture. even a social it's a social uh, problem problem now obesity is a social problem more cultural than a medical problem social problem, problem. jobs yeah. milne mein mushkil ho jati hai rishte milne mein mushkil hota hai correct correct to aapko kya lagta hai ab first of all you did so well so tell us about how you started achieving this step by step how how was your journey like so first we learn i learned my basic surgeries mm. from the us and belgium like i told you then i started modifying the surgeries to fit into our population because yeah. what works for them may not work for, work us. for us like diabetes yeah. is a big problem if you see pakistani and indian patients for example most of them have the weight on the belly right so yep we are pear shaped i think apple or shape. apple shape apple yeah shape. Apple and shape. that's causing diabetes mm. that's causing a lot of issues so in women infertility is because they are overweight and nobody is really understood these problems so mm. i think when when we understand this we have to modify our surgical techniques okay uh, again there is a lot of uh, taboo about talking about surgery in our cultures right yeah. if you tell someone surgery karwa li are allah ye kya karwa liya aapne ye diet try kar lo ye mere doctors ke haath se kuch ho gaya to sari zindagi ka masla pad jayega maine suna ye 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 galat hota hai so jab hum ye myths nikal dete ye parda nikal dete hamari aankhon ke samne tab hame realize hota hai ki there is a life out there which we are not allowing ourselves to be exposed to i think when we when we do that then uh, surgeons like me also to be blamed in a certain way hum ja ke chhed bhi hum belly button ke andar chupa dete hain so bahut se log aise hai jinhone surgery karwai hai lekin bolte maine exercise ki maine diet ki maine surgery wagera karwai nahi hai but i think agar aapka weight uh, aapki normal height aur weight mm-hmm. se 30 kilo se zyada hai aur aap, aapko diabetes type 2 diabetes uh, hypertension uh, cholesterol wagera ki samasya hai So I think you should consider surgery. Acha. So this once a patient comes to you for a surgery then they have to go through a whole process of uh, nutrition of exercise and so the patient has to be in touch with you for uh, like yeah, the time Yeah, jaisa rehta hai. They ha, have to be stuck with you for life. Ban jata hai. Ha, like, it's like a marriage. Se, marriage. Agar partner acha nahi laga to bhi hum aapke sath rahe. Aapke sath rakhna hai. To hi aage ja ke life. To ek tarah se aapka feel acha hai ki aap patient rakh lete hain aur wo rehta hai hamesha aapke sath. We say at least once a year follow up with us. Yeah. Because Uh, to keep you healthy and to keep you fit, mm. we don't. If you're doing well, send us at least an email saying at the end of the year, "Ye mere report se, mm. I am doing well, doctor." Because somewhere down the line, pehle do saal after bariatric surgery is like the honeymoon period. Yeah. Everything works well, right? Thodi galtiya bhi maaf ho jati hai ye wo. But then you get used to a, an adapted lifestyle which might not be healthy, and we want to tell you that that's not correct. So uh, please, please be in touch with us if you've had bariatric. Surgery. अमूमन लोग कहते हैं कि जब कोई आपके ही सर्कल में कोई बहुत लाइक दिस इज़ हाउ इट हैज़ कम एवरीबडी इज स्टार्टेड टू नो अबाउट वेट लॉस सर्जरी तो कहते हैं कि ओ इसने वो करवाया होगा इट्स लाइक लोग बताते नहीं जैसे आपने कहा इट्स बिकम अ टेबू बट यू थिंक इट्स मोर इंस्परेशन ऑफ पीपल वुड कम आउट एंड टॉक अबाउट इट एंड टेल अबाउट द जर्नीज एंड दे कुड सेव अदर पीपल ऑल्सो फ्राम द यू नो जो कोशिश कर रहा था वेट लूज करने की इतने सालों से लेकिन उनको समझ नहीं आता सो हाउ आर यू ट्राइंग टू मेक पीपल अवेयर अबाउट दिस स्पेशली फॉर दोज पीपल हु डू नॉट हैव हैंड्स ऑन फर्स्ट हैंड ऑन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दीज थिंग्स जैसे कि आई टेल यू एज डॉक्टर्स आर हैंड्स आर टाइट वी विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट अ पेशेंट देयर इज अ यू नो देयर इज अ प्राइवेसी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट दिस साइन सो I I can only smile when people ask me आपने इनकी सर्जरी करवाई है मैं पूछूंगी आप देखेंगे स्माइल करते हैं सो सो वी जस्ट स्माइल एंड वी वी नेवर सो कभी कभी अक्सर इंटरव्यूज में लोग मुझे पूछते वो शख्स ने कहा कि आपने उनकी सर्जरी की तो आई सेट फिर उनको कोट करो मुझे क्यों कोट करें यू नो सो आई फील दैट पब्लिक फिगर्स जिनका नाम है और जिनको सर्जरी सी की बेनिफिट हुई है प्लीज आप लोगों के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा करेंगे अगर आप ओपन में सोशल कॉज लाइक यू टेलिंग पीपल देर इज अ वे आउट and it is nothing to be ashamed yeah. about this nothing to be because you were brave enough to go ahead with yeah. a surgery like surgery and it's done for health and it's done for, for your health purposes. so like today i would be very proudly be able to say that the vice president of india venkaiah naidu he's got this surgery done around 6 8 years wow. back his political career was almost getting over because of diabetes and because of uh, problems today you see him he's one of the Active most brightly politicians around so these kind of people bring a lot of hope to people because they're public figures sabke samne aate um 
so I think any popular figure should actually, if he's had the surgery, should speak about it. I've heard you've done Salman Khan's mother's uh, surgery also. Jee. Tell us about her. Because Salman Khan's name is all open, so you talk about it. Salman is a very fit person. He's very fit. Exercise and fitness are very fit. He's very fit. He's very fit. He's very fit. He's at his age also, he's very, very fit. So, but he believes that this surgery works. So, when Salman T. Mutapik was 72, she was 72 years of age. And she had a little bit of a problem. She could barely walk and she could barely get up and stuff like that. So, he wanted the surgery done on his mom. But Salim uncle was not very, very pro of the surgery. So we tried once or twice, but Salim uncle was, what are you doing in this age? Then one day she fell down in the washroom. And it was like that the child was worried, right? But Salman was jumping, he's saying... And he loves his parents. Yeah, he loves his mom. Especially his mom. His mother, yes. And he said, please come to the house today, come to the house, come to the house, because this is the time for the father to convince the father that this is surgery. So I went home and we managed to and convince Salim. And when was Sal this? Which this year? is six, six, eight years back. Okay. Yeah. And we managed to convince Sal Salim uncle that at least let her live her life. Luckily, everything went well. Mm -hmm. And today, it's a joke because Salman keeps telling me, you are the superstar <laughs> because you have allowed me to enjoy the success of my son. Salman Khan now is my son, but I could got, not step out of my yeah. room. Today, I can see the world. Like recently he posted pictures with his mom. I was so happy to see those yeah. pictures because... Even it was all over Insta, yeah. the shoot that they yeah. had in Malta. Because yeah. he's a superstar, right? Yeah. And I think You're she's the a mother's su superstar. And she's a superwoman. I think okay. she's a fantastic woman and she's very, very cheerful. And oh, also convincing yourself at the age of 72 that you're going to do a surgery because like how you said that the father, Salim uncle, was not ready to... Yeah. No, having a supportive family member in this, these cases is also very important to have. Uh, Especially for someone who believes in fitness. Yes. So ideally, what happens is that people say, why drastically do surgery? This is coming from someone who believes in fitness without surgery. Yeah. But if he's recommending it, today he he's openly recommends his surgery to a lot of people lot of he people. sees, who he knows cannot, for whatever the reason, cannot, cannot work eat out healthy or, or cannot work or. out or something. Or have struggled with diabetes and everything. Okay, because it happens, people's body types are like that, that they can do exercise, uh, eating healthy or go on a diet or nutrition but still they can't the weight they, will yeah. budge but it will not budge that much so, so rather than blaming yourself yeah. and going further and further into depression uh, there is a way out people yeah. second chance at life there is yes hey, it's like being born again yeah so tell us about this boy Kevin who was who's from Germany or from France I believe uh, France France yeah, yeah. France. tell us about his uh, how he came to you and how his life's changed so or Kevin was another story that I was very, very happy to be part of. Mm -hmm. We managed to change his entire life. There was this kid who was 12 years old and because of obesity, he had struggled with obesity. Mm -hmm. His parents convinced him to go and get the surgery done. He went to, uh, uh, he was taken to America. Okay. Mayo Clinic where an open surgery was done on him. Uh, now what happened is that at that age, they did a surgery on mm -hmm. him. But unfortunately, he didn't do that well after the surgery. He kept putting on weight one after the other. And it was carried by the worldwide press at that point of time, BBC, mm -hmm. uh, Daily Online and stuff like that. Because BBC, uh, uh, British Airways f uh, refused to fly him. Oh, and because he was so overweight. Yeah. Oh. And Queen Elizabeth, again, the, the ship refused to take him on board because they said, if something happens, we are not responsible. So a lot of media had covered him. And then he went into hospitals in France, Switzerland, Germany, tried various options. And, but then you keep sinking deeper and deeper and deeper. And he came to us at around 300 plus kilos. Wow. And was wheelchair bound, had not, be, could not get into a car. So uh, first he was completely against surgery, right? Because he had so already he had, had a, surgery. a surgery before. He had a surgery in Mayo yeah. Clinic and was completely and against. And was it the same sort of a surgery? That yeah, you a bariatric surgery. क्या रीजन है कोई जादू करते हैं ये शायद अपने पेशेंट्स के साथ पूरी बेस की सर्जरी फेल और इनकी सर्जरी पास हो गई तो वो आए हमारे पास तब भी वो कंपलीटली अगेन सर्जरी सो आई सेड हिज मदर सेड दैट वी आर नॉट कम्फर्ट सर्जरी एंड शी वर्क्स एट द यूनाइटेड नेशंस क्रिस्टिना डस एंड 
she was struggling because no airline he could not yeah. fit into a normal commercial yeah. airline so people refused to fly him emirates refused to fly him and stuff like that to tab uh, she spoke to the chief of humanities yeah. uh, in un and he happened to be the prince of jordan okay tab he understood the problem and i think he spoke to his sister who happens to be prince haya okay so when uh, princess haya got to know about uh, kevin she was very very gracious enough and very kind enough to say that she'll help him out okay. and she sent him a charter and she managed to fly him to india that's why today also he, everywhere he thanks princess haya and the prince of jordan completely for their you, efforts of course i you saved his life like kehte yeah. na allah hi haath mein shifa deta hai ek doctor ke haath sare doctor ban jate hain lekin kisi ke haath mein shifa hoti hai kisi ke haath mein us tarah se nahi hota but so, that's my job right yeah it's your I, job but maybe you know i i believe such doctors are blessed because if the whole of west so many countries couldn't do what you did it's remarkable mashallah so that just, from middle east or from sorry from asia a doctor like you and you are the only indian doctor who has performed life surgery in all the countries in asia yeah probably except yeah. for japan because japan doesn't allow you to operate in japan okay even if you're a super super star expert so even a uh, american cannot operate in japan so Unless kevin is happy the big fan of alia bhat i uh, yeah. alia um, bhat yeah <laughs> yeah alia bhat and uh, your wife is telling the whole story how he he inspired to stay and he changed his name also krishna kapoor <laughs> he changed his name he poses like shahrukh khan power now. of bollywood <laughs> yeah. so it's good to get a kid back a 25 year old kid who was wheelchair bound mm. and had given up on life get him to see life again and uh, every time his mom writes to me uh, she always says that i am so 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 thankful for your children but i've just done my job yeah so it's it's great that when you do your job and you can satisfy someone and give chance to uh, what are the challenges you face the key challenges that you face in your job challenges you today want... is that obesity is not recognized as a disease yeah, by government challenges today is that it's still not recognized as a common place like knee replacement har koi karwa deta hai chal nahi pate ho right aur koi option hi nahi hai obesity ke liye har koi bolta hai mere paas option hai Haan. abhi diet kar lo ye puri le lo ye kuch kar lo it doesn't work but people always keep trying because yeah. surgery is always surgery try nahi karni abhi to aapki surgery exactly like the viewers want to know what exactly do you do what are the skills सो वॉट वी डू इज सभी सर्जरी लैप्रोस्कोपिक होती है सो छोटे छोटे छेद होते हैं या तो छेद होते ही नहीं है यू बेसिकली इट्स एज इफेक्टिव और एज डेंजरस एज डूंग गोल ब्लड और हॉर्निया सर्जरी सो इट्स नॉट टू रिस्की हाँ तो ये दो मिथ हमें निकाल दे दिमाग से और जहन से कि इट इज सेफ इट इज इज दी ओनली इफेक्टिव वे ऑफ लूजिंग लार्ज अमाउंट्स ऑफ वेट एंड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट्स प्रॉब्ली दी ओनली इफेक्टिव long term solution for those patients who are obese and diabetic and have mm-hmm. tried every form of controlling the diabetes but cannot to agar ye agar hum dimag se nikal de to i think a lot of people will accept the fact that surgery is a solution and we should be doing it more more regularly bachcho ke liye don't let your people die because of obesity related illnesses only because somebody is telling you आप और ट्राई कर लो और ट्राई कर लो और और बचा आप एक कट ऑफ पॉइंट रख लीजिए कीप इट एक साल दो साल तीन साल समवन कैन नॉट लूज वेट बिकॉज ऑफ व्हाट एवर दे आर ट्राइंग देन आई थिंक गिव देम द सेकंड चांस विद द बेरियाट्रिक सर्जरी नाउ यू प्लेड क्रिकेट कमिंग टू योर चाइल्डहुड डेज योर यंगर लाइक ही इज स्टिल यंग आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू से दैट बट व्हेन यू स्टार्टेड uh you are, you finished your college you played for uh, cricket for in for mumbai in your college on under 19 team why didn't you become a sports doctor i want to know that like you know when you feel is sports you tend to be more into something that is your passion so it's right time to talk about it, right mm-hmm. pakistan's got a cricketer as a prime minister <laughs> yes uh, yeah and very very well respected in india i think yes. it's the best chance for pakistan and we have a good looking prime minister very finally. good looking <laughs> not good looking very good looking and really i think most smart. most most girls in india still fall for him <laughs> okay. but uh, uh, at at a time when i was playing there was also sachin and vinod and all yeah. these guys who were playing who were just so way talented that i realized meri to dal galne nahi wali hai yahan par so moved out and aisa kuch karo ki har jagah dal gale best mein kuch nahi ho raha inke haath mein sab kuch ho raha so i got into medicine because 
तब आई कुछ नहीं था पैसे भी नहीं थे इतनी क्रिकेट के एंड वॉज इन एस टैलेंटेड लाइक आई सर सो आई थाट चलो कुछ और कर ले I would have either become a cricketer or a gastrointestinal surgeon. I did one. Okay. Not didn't do too badly. So you follow cricket. You must be following cricket. I still do follow uh, when I get the time. So do uh, you have a clinic based in Dubai in healthcare city? Yes. So you're operating it since January now. So all the people who want to get their obesity problems, their diabetes problems, can come to the best of the best and get themselves treated. Tell us about your uh, clinic. In- So we have a clinic which we based in DHCC. Mm-hmm. It's in Al Razi Building 64. Um, why we came here was basically because we have to accept certain facts of life. K, um, I can't, I can't reach out to everybody sitting yes. in India. Yeah, there's a lot of obesity in the region, and I heard that Sheikh Mohammed had said that uh, medical tourism is one of the main areas of focus. Okay. So I thought it was a great opportunity. to try and see if i could bring some of my expertise to the region the other thing is uh, we had a lot of pakistani friends yes, as well yes i told and, uh, i was told by your assistant a lot of pakistani patients also come and uh, there's a great opportunity for them to access my services here we've mm-hmm. operated a lot of pakistanis here mm-hmm. it takes away all the political hurdles of them coming to india yes and we can still reach out to them i've learned so much on the show today on weight loss and i must congratulate you and wish you best of luck you've really taken up a big uh, obesity as a you know as a war and uh, may allah bless you with lots of success and give you more and more in this thank way. you thank you thank shukriya you. and may allah bless our efforts thank you thank you